Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to perform a leak down test on a Honda S2000. The first thing you want to do is make sure your motor is warm and at operating temperature. With the car turned off, remove the cylinder head cover. For more information on how to do this, please see the DIY video I made. Remove the spark plugs using a spark plug socket, an extension, and a ratchet. You may need to use a rubber mallet against the ratchet to break the spark plugs loose. Use a 19mm socket or wrench to turn the crankshaft so that cylinder 1 is at top dead center. When a cylinder is at top dead center, the exhaust cam lobe should point to 11 o'clock and the intake cam lobe should point to 2 o'clock. Setting the cylinder to top dead center will ensure that the valves are closed, thus allowing us to properly test cylinder leakage. Insert the compressor hose into the leak down tester. Ensure the leak down tester regulator is set to 0 psi. Turn on the air compressor and adjust the regulator on the air compressor to 100 PSI. Thread the leak down cylinder hose into the spark plug tube hole for the cylinder you are testing. Once threaded, attach the leak down cylinder hose to the leak down tester. Adjust the leak down tester regulator to 100 PSI. As you adjust the regulator knob, you should see the leak down gauge slowly climb as more air is released into the cylinder head. Once the regulating gauge is set to 100 psi, the reading on the leak down gauge will indicate how much of the regulated air is not leaking. The difference in psi between the regulating gauge and the leak down gauge should be the percentage of cylinder leak. A cylinder with greater than 10% leak indicates a problem. Record the leak reading and adjust the leak down tester regulator back down to 0 psi. Unthread the leak down cylinder hose from the spark plug tube hole and use a 19mm socket or wrench to rotate the crankshaft 180 degrees so that the next cylinder is at top dead center. Repeat step 6 to 8 for cylinders number 3, number 4, and number 2 in that order. Once you are done testing the cylinders, you will need to replace the spark plugs using a spark plug socket, an extension, and a torque wrench. Tighten them to 21 foot pounds. Lastly, reinstall the cylinder head cover. For more information on how to do this, please see the DIY video I made. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. If you have an idea for a future DIY video you'd like to see, please share it in the comments.